So, let's talk about NBA 2K23 real quick. Let's talk about, in particular, the build system. So, we all know the build system in 2K23 is always like, it's going to be more advanced. Sometimes 2K will add more features in it, I would say. And these features would determine whether the build system was good or bad. An example of a bad build system, I would say we haven't really had a bad build system, but personally, I don't like this one. 2K21 was all right. I mean, I guess if you want to consider making overpowered builds like A tier, and I'm not going to I'm not going to fault 2K for like the early states like 2K15 and 16, maybe 17 build system because that was still early in the games, you know what I'm saying? 2K has just like transitioned to online. They was trying to get they was trying to to build something. I get it. I'm not going to fault them for that. But I will fault them for some of the most stupidest things they put in this game, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So, there's some faults in this build system for sure, for sure. I'm gonna go over it, and then y'all tell me if I'm tripping or not, alright? And what can we do, or what can they do for 2K23? Because we don't have any control of that, you know what I'm saying? The YouTube's power ain't that. We ain't, we don't have that much power, so chill out, dawg. Chill out. We can only, uh... What you say? We only have the uh, the special treatment, the special animations, and all that. We got our green windows higher, <laughs> like some of y'all be saying. But anyway, let's move on, bro. Let's, let's move on. So basically, okay, you got your all your five of your positions, right? And some of the things I don't find fair about none of this. Let, let's just let's just start off with the badge system. One of the dumbest things 2K did this year, bro, is added the amount of badge points you need to upgrade a badge to gold silver in some cases and hall of fame it's very dumb so let's take let's upgrade our perimeter defense so i can show you what i'm talking about let's say my perimeter defense well hold on let me see uh okay if my perimeter defense is at 85 i need five badge points just to upgrade it to gold in previous two k's you only need three you're supposed to only need three all right let's say i upgraded to about okay let's say silver i need three for silver and that's no matter what rating you got if you have clamps on silver you need three badge points to upgrade it it doesn't what what the only good thing about it is bronze no matter what rating it just takes one but silver is three let's just check out hall of fame let's check a hall of fame real quick i'm not gonna lie so of course when you upgrade it to like a tick below hall of fame let's say like 93 you only need four right you see on the screen that's cool and all but four it should be hall of fame it should it shouldn't be like that and 94 for the defense i need six for hall of fame one hall of fame badge six six my nigga six and if you upgrade it to like 99 or something you need five that's you know what i'm saying as long as you have the pro and the defense or like the three point rating over like a 96, you wouldn't have to upgrade whatever it is you want. Like chef, you it wouldn't take like six badge points. Six badge points. That's a lot of badge points for one badge on Hall of Fame. That's a lot. Why, yo? At the most, you should have said five, guys. Come on, six is crazy. I don't know. Me and my friend was arguing like, yo, that's kind of dumb. Like. When we seen that, like, that's kind of dumb when the game first came out, that's kind of stupid. Like, you need that many badge points. And most of us didn't even know when the when the game first came out that that was the case. So we're looking at it like, oh, I need six badge points to upgrade this badge on Hall of Fame. And it might not even be an important badge, it's like Hustler or something. Hustler is an important badge, but not on the Hall of Fame level. You shouldn't need... Bro, it shouldn't need like five or six to upgrade to Hall of Fame. Four is enough. Please, please don't do this for 2K23. I'm begging you, 2K, especially for shooting. Yo, you're crazy. Yo, oh man. Chef, a Hall of Fame would take six badge points. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I have a high three point rate. It should just be four or five, not never six. And I would even say just to put it back to its original state and just say uh, four, okay? Four is fine. Four badge points, a Hall of Fame badge is fine. Now, if you want to say, oh, I mean, four badge points, that's not even enough because he already gets like 30-something for shooting. He's going to have all the damn shooting badges. 
then just lower the badge points you get for upgrading your build. <laughs> and that just leads me to another case. Let's talk about this real quick. Let's talk about this real quick. I, I think I, I think it needs to be said. What's up with the guard hate, bruh? I ain't gonna, what's up with the guard hate? Like, let's say, now I made three builds, right? I got, what, well, what, two point guard builds and like a, a point center type build, all right? And I upgraded hella builds for videos and all that center build, every single position, one through five. And let me tell you something, they treat centers way better than they treat guards. Say I would upgrade my three point and let's say I just made a guard build, right? This is what I was just making my guard build. I would upgrade my three point to like a 90, my ball handle to like an 85, upgrade my speed with ball all the way to like an 88 or something like that. Like, um, hypothetical in my in my um, passing accuracy. And I would already be like, say like a 60 something overall, maybe like in late 60s, bro. Why is that? Why is that, bro? If I do the same stats on the center, I'm still going to be at like a, a 59, maybe a 60. So that means you can basically upgrade your center build more than your guard build. Now, respectfully so, 2K has a history of making guard builds overpowered right in the past. But that does not mean that we had some that we didn't have some crazy center builds like those stretch big builds. Or we had builds that could dribble like in 2K20. Y'all remember the, the playmaking glass cleaners? I know you remember that. So, I hate when 2K says they have this guard dilemma where it's like, oh man, guards are just the, the A's of the 2K community. But in all reality, it's all builds, bro. You have to really find a balance. And that doesn't mean taking away from guard builds. You take away from guard builds so damn much. It makes it... it it's, I ain't gonna lie. It was hard to make a good, a good real guard build. A good balanced guard build that could do everything. Finish at the rim. Shoot the ball. Play some type of defense. If yo, if your guard build can guard the perimeter and steal the ball, best believe, hundred percent, one hundred and ten percent, he's not gonna be able to block or get a rebound. Or get a rebound, a hundred percent. If your guard build can finish at the rim, right? He can shoot the ball and play make as well as steal the ball somewhat and play solid defense on the perimeter there's no way he's going to get any type of interior defense or block or rebound the ball you guys have to remember like you have to use the rest of those stats for your physicals you gotta remember your physicals and by the time you upgrade your perimeter defense and steal you'll be at like a 93 maybe a 94 overall so you're not gonna have any points to upgrade anything else you have to use it for your physicals because what's a guard build without speed or acceleration or stamina right and if you want to finish around the rim you want to have at least like a, a 70 vertical to unlock some type of contact dunks and if you want elite you gotta upgrade it to 80 <laughs> so you have no time like or no room to do this but on my center build as you guys could see on my previous videos I had a build that can pass shoot the ball finish around the rim and play elite defense he was playing elite defense just in case if you think you don't believe me or some for some reason look at my 6-9 build all right let's look at the stats of him do you think this is possible to get on a guard build no if it was that would be amazing but it's not look at the defense on this guy everything can be maxed out even the physicals are maxed out what they need to be Jesus Christ and this was before I said, you know what? Let me fix it up so I can get a lead contact dunk. I have a 90 driving dunk, a 83, still be able to shoot 80 ball handle, y'all. The only thing that's not really up to par is the passing accuracy. But as a 6'9, you I I I I'd argue you really don't need that. That really doesn't matter. Look at the defense on this build. 89 perimeter, 86 steal, 90 block, and he could rebound the ball. He can rebound his ass off, right? So, if you think you're getting these stats on a guard build, <laughs> yo, you're crazy. You're, yo, you're actually crazy. You're like a regular 6'5", six, 6'3", six, small guard build who could dribble. By the time you upgraded that perimeter defense to an 89, you wouldn't even be able to get your steal 
to an 83. I would say, and it'd be like, all right, you. It doesn't even cap off at 99. Sometimes, sometimes it'll cap you off at like, say I'm trying to upgrade my steel. He'll cap off at like an 82, but it'll be like a 98 overall, right? It wouldn't even let you just upgrade one of your stats until you get to 99. You, it'll cut you off. That's so annoying. For 2K23, you have to give people more freedom to make these builds, bro. And I understand making a build is like, making unique builds have never been better because everybody really doesn't have the same build in this game like 2k21 2k20 and all the rest of the 2ks this is the year where everybody's making their own unique build and it's pretty cool right <sighs> but it's like everybody just has different stats but the limitations are still there you know what I'm saying don't get caught in the genjutsu bro get, don't get caught in the genjutsu it's still some limitations on it especially with the guard builds all right that's all you guys need to know for 2k23 i like what they did with this i want them to keep this build system they need to right and well i'm not even going to talk about current gen because that's just a copy and paste from for two years 20 yeah 20 and 21 that's just a copy and paste nobody cares about that so let's just talk about next gen all right right this should be the system that we go into 23 with just expand on it and please get rid of that bad system is bad just build on this stop giving us limitations for our let us make our build however we want i don't want to be able to get caught off on 97 or 98 when i'm not even like i could still go and keep going with my upgrades please don't make me upgrade free throw if i don't want to play the wreck if i make a build that's not designed for wreck please Rec or pro -M. please don't make me upgrade rebound. I mean, a uh, free throw to like a 28 just to get that 99. Please, I can use those points for something else and unlock a badge, a Hall of Fame or something. Dayo, stop. Stop making me do that. You know what I'm saying? Give guards more flexibility when making their builds. Centers, I don't feel like centers have a problem. Um, Especially now because center builds are probably the best they're gonna get <laughs> but guard builds you need more flexibility those are my these are my only problems that i have with the guard build everything else is pretty all right i'm not gonna mention the fact that people yo they basically butchered taller guard builds so my primary guard build is six five right <laughs> yeah unless you have a small guard build they're gonna they're gonna try to butcher your build the taller you get like say you're six five you can't get like you can't get quick first step or quick chain on hall of fame unless you're like six three six two you know what I'm saying you just gotta be inc like amazingly short to get those badges on hall of fame because those are one of the best playmaking badges in the game and why would they give it to a tall guard build and that would be overpowered right so they intentionally nerf like the shooting and playmaking to extreme length the taller you make your point guard build it's to the point where sometimes some guard builds you know saying you can't get blinders on hall of fame being above like six four or something you can't get a certain badges hall of fame like a uh, limitless spot up or chef being above a certain height and it's a it's a like six four these are like small heights too you can't you can't be six five and have the good hall of fame stuff you know what i'm saying but I'm not complaining because gold is pretty much the same as Hall of Fame anyway. But that might not be the case for 23. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That, like, it's not really a problem now because the difference between Hall of Fame and gold are so like small. But I wouldn't count on that to be the case for 23. So I would like that to change as well. And that just goes into my original claim like give guards more flexibility that's all i ask for give guards way more flexibility than they already have you know saying i don't want to be six foot one to to be fast or to get the good guard badges please just tighten up i don't want to be a midget to get the good stuff please don't make me choose between defense and scoring can i can i have both please like y'all be giving them centers thank you to be able to finish and play defense that's all i ask 
But anyway, I'm out, y'all. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see for 2K23 about the build system in the comment section below. It's a kind of a long video. I've been rambling a lot, but yeah, I'm not trying to make this thing 20 minutes. But so yeah, leave a comment down below and I'm gonna read it probably. Well, mo most, yeah, most definitely I'm gonna read it and uh, I'll probably like it. But yeah, I'm out, y'all. Peace. <laughs>